When I first came to the School of Nursing, I was housed in the basement of the medical school. And uh, the faculty were in a, quote, temporary building, which remained temporary for about 40 years after we moved out. Lots of different groups got to, uh, an opportunity to be in the temporary building. But anyway, um, I give great credit to Dr. Greta Stiles, the first dean of the School of Nursing, because she and the architect designed the building. And it was beautifully done. I mean, it, it was done with state funds entirely. And to see a state building with a fountain in the middle, a uh, terrazzo tile, the colors, that were the southwestern type colors, or the greens and beiges and oranges and so forth. And then to have the kivas, that's a, a uh, Indian word meaning ceremonial pit. And these kivas, you'd step down into them. They were circular. They had padded seats around them. And um, they had carpeting all the way up above the seats so that as you walk by the kiva and people were sitting in there talking, you could not hear what they were saying and vice versa. They could not hear people outside. It was that well insulated. But it was an open area and there were about four or five kivas that were all lined up. That was very different, you know, a very different look. We were able at that time in the 1970s to have some money from the state for um, artwork, and I had a wonderful fact, a member, Dr. Joanne Crow, who was, had been a commercial artist before she joined. She was the only non-nurse on our faculty. She was in charge of our technical uh, support and our learning laboratory. But anyway, she helped pick artwork, <clears throat> and um, that artwork is still there in the School of Nursing in many places. But um, so the, the building looked very nice. And I took great pride in the building. And one of my assistants to the dean, Rudy Gomez, he was assistant to the dean at that time. He has held many other hats, uh, titles and hats since then. He also took great pride in the building. And, and so if a student would put anything up on the wall, we would take it down and put it on the appropriate bulletin board. And so I got to the point where when students came in every year and I greeted them, I was always talk about the building and say, you know, this is your building, and we want it to look nice like it is, and previous students have kept it nice. And uh, just to remind you, your mother is not here to pick up after you, and so please pick up all your trash and put it away and so forth. And any uh, notice that was put on the front door or hung on a wall, we dutifully took it down and put it where it belonged. And they learned very quickly not to scatter the walls with uh, pieces of paper, or stick them everywhere. And um, uh, Rudy would take daily uh, walks around the building, make sure it was all neat and tidy. And I was especially proud when we had a lot of visitors come to look at the building at won some awards. And uh, they would come to the building and, and it was so nice because it always looked nice. It was, was always presentable. So that was uh, wonderful building to move into and since I started in August we moved in in October of that year and then it was dedicated in the next year uh, in the spring and Board of Regents this was the last building that they officially dedicated so that meant that the board had to come down we had members of University of Texas band plan we all marched into the yellow rose of Texas you know <laughs> so it was quite a nice formal dedication and uh, that, was, that was very special. Uh, he did win a lot of awards for the building. And um, I know Dr. Stiles worked very closely with him. She was responsible for the layout and the saying what it is we needed in the building. And of course, it was built for growth. And when we first moved in, I mean, we just had more offices and we know what to do with and more space and we loved it. Every faculty member could choose where they wanted to have their office and so forth. Um, the, I, I don't know enough about the architect to really speak, you know, wisely about him at all, except I'm very grateful for what he did and how he worked with Dr. Stiles. Well, the kivas, uh, the students really enjoyed the kiva. They could study in there. there. Every time you'd go by, you'd usually see students sprawled out studying or little groups getting together. The clinical faculty, the faculty members would take their clinical group of students and they would have meetings in the kivas. And so that was just kind of a warm place, if you will, a nice uh, place to be. We found that many medical students came to our School of Nursing to study. Uh, they liked the atmosphere. Of course, they may have come for other reasons in the building, but anyway, they enjoyed the atmosphere. They enjoyed the 
uh, the Kiva areas and so forth. So it was used a lot. It was uh, quite a useful place.